All right, I'm now at the bottom of page 612, and we're going to start working some of the examples that are not quite as user friendly, just in terms of the fact that, like, maybe your um, X, you know, what you're raising everything to, that might not be a whole number. Um, and so things are maybe a little bit more complicated. But go back, um, think about what we did, the strategy that I took you through, like on the elk thing. Um, we basically did two equations. We set one equal to one side of the equal sign, and we set the other equation equal to the other side of the equal sign. And just a little hint, if all you know is your ending population is twice what your starting population is, then just make sure that the two numbers, one of them's double the other one, you know, the ending population is twice or half or whatever. You don't have to designate a specific number. That's going to be handy to keep in mind when we look at number 17. There's a drought. I thought it was spelled with an O. Anyway, um, there's a drought and the oak tree population is decre decreasing at a rate of 7% per year. If the population continues to decrease at the same rate, how long will it take for the population to be half of what it was? So I don't know, maybe this is a big forest or something like that. First, what I want you guys to realize is that since it is decreasing, we're going to take that 1.00, remember F of X equals A, B to the X. If B is exactly 1.00, then it doesn't really matter what this X is. Um, we're not going to get like a exponential growth and we're not going to get an exponential decay because, you know, it's 1.00. But if it decreases, then it's going to be slightly under 1.00. If it's an increasing, it's going to be slightly over 1.00. So we start with 1.00, and it says decreasing at a rate of 7% a year. 7% in decimal form is 0 0.07, and when you take 1 minus 0 0.07, you're going to get 0.93, okay? So now I'm thinking, okay, f of x is equal to a b, which is 0 0.93, to the x, okay? How long will it take for the population to be cut in half? So this number, the end, the ending population will be half of whatever your beginning population is. And it really doesn't matter what numbers you pick here, as we'll find out, as long as this one is half of this one. So let's say, I don't know, let's say it's a big forest and there are 100,000 trees um, at the beginning. Okay. How long is it going to take to lose half of those trees. Well, half of 100,000 is 50,000. Okay. Now, I have a feeling that this X is not going to be a nice user-friendly whole number. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use that graphing strategy. And we're basically going to break this into two equations. So we can say our equation, uh, first equation, we'll just call it f of x is equal to 50,000, and then we'll call this one, I guess, g of x is equal to 100,000 times 0 0.93 raised to the x power. And now what you're going to do is you're going to grab your calculator, and you are going to enter both of those lines into, you know, go to your little y equals button. Uh, make sure to pay attention to what maybe your window settings need to be to deal with these numbers. Um, but we're going to graph both of those lines, and then we're going to find where those lines intersect, and that is going to be the x value that we need. All right, so let me get my stuff together, and you guys, in the meantime, grab your calculator, put these two equations into your calculator so that you can follow along with me.
Okay, so here I am at my little y equals. Um, I'm sorry, I can like toggle back and forth. Um, but I can't show you both screens at once. So remember, my first equation is just that f of x is equal to 50,000. And my next equation is that g of x is equal to 100,000. Mm, okay. Um, and then my b is 0 0.93. And that is going to be raised to the x power. Okay, then I'm going to need to deal with my window settings. Uh, x minimum is negative 1, x 10, that's okay. I think that'll be probably okay. Um, but my y values, remember, we're starting with a population of 100,000. And we're having it decrease from there. So I'll do 110,000 is my, no, I'm sorry, that needs to be my y maximum um, because we're going to be decreasing. So my y minimum clear is going to be zero. My y maximum, let's do 110,000. My scale is probably going to be, I don't know, 10,000, something like that. Um, all right, so cross your fingers. Let's hope I did everything right. Graph. Okay, I need this intersection, okay? So here, remember the red line? See, I, ooh, I have a fancy calculator. Mine does it in color. Um, my red line is the 100,000 times 0 0.93 raised to the x. My blue line is the 50,000, okay? But I need this value. So I need to know where those two lines intersect. I'm going to go to second and the trace button. So I need that calc function. Boink. And I need number five because I want it to tell me where it intersects. And I don't know why they make you do all this, but anyway, um, first curve, second curve. Guess, please guess. Ah, it tells you that it's gone down to 50,000 after 9.55 years, okay? All right, so let's go back. And our X value after all of that is approximately 9.55 years, okay? And this is one of those ones where it's going to be much simpler to use a calculator because I don't know how you're going to algebraically figure out that X is 9.55, all right? Okay, I would like you to try 18 and 20. And what I really would like you to do is to pause the video right now, use pencil, figure out, um, try to figure out what you're doing, and then hit play and see if you did it right. And if you didn't do it right, then follow along and, and see, you know, kind of where you went wrong and, and what you need to change. All right, uh, so I'm going to go work 18 in just a second for you, but I want you to pause and do it yourself first. I mean it. Are you pausing? Okay, 18 says an animal reserve has 40,000 elk. In other words, in the beginning, uh, the reserve has 40,000 elk. The population is increasing at a rate of 11%. Per year, how long will it take for the population to reach 80,000? Okay, so remember your format for an exponential growth or exponential decay, frankly, is A times B to the X, okay? Where this is the value that you want after so many units of, in this case, time, okay? So 80 thousand equals your starting value which is 40,000. Now what's going to go in here? Well it says the population is increasing at a rate of 11 percent. So remember a perfect 1.00 is not increasing or decreasing and you would get like a straight line on your graph instead of a curve. 
Okay, so if it's increasing, I'm going to take that 1.00 and I'm going to add the 11%, which is 0 .0, 0 0.11. So down here in my little parentheses is going to be 1.11. That's how we represent that it's increasing by 11% and then to the x power. So um, per year, so your x's are gonna represent the number of years that go by, and here we go. Again, I doubt that we're gonna get a nice, even, friendly uh, number for x. So I think the easiest way to do this again is graphically, and we're gonna have two equations for two lines. f of x is equal to 80,000, so that's one of our lines. And we'll just call this one g of x, and that's going to be 40,000 times 1.11 raised to the x power. And then it's back to the calculator we go. Let's see, where's my calculator? There it is. Okay, let me nuke all of this. Clear, clear, and clear, and go down and clear that too all right um all right so let's clean it up i don't know why it's lines like that anyway okay so i need um my first line to just be f of x is equal to eighty thousand. in other words y equals eighty thousand. okay so eighty thousand and my second line needs to be 40,000 times my rate of increase, which is going to be represented by 1.11 raised to the x. Now again, let's go make sure that our window settings are going to ac accommodate what we need. Um, X min is negative one, X max. Basically, if we run over 10 years, we won't have enough room, but we're just gonna see. I have a feeling it's gonna be less than 10 years. Uh, scale, Y minimum, obviously we can't have a negative population of elk, so zero is great. Our maximum can be a little bit smaller. Um, maybe we'll just, I don't know, maybe we'll do 100,000 this time. And I think I'm still going to keep the X scale as 10,000 so that I don't have like a zillion tick marks on my little scale. All right. And then I'm going to go to graph. So cross your fingers. Go graph. Okay. There it goes. Uh, remember, this is your 80,000. Here is the 40,000. And remember, the population is going to go up and up and up and up and up. But I need to know what is the X value when these two lines cross. In other words, what's the x value when these two lines both have a y value of 80,000? All right, so I need to go to the calc feature again and request the point where those two intersect. First curve, enter. Second curve, enter. Take a guess, please. All right. So both lines have a y value of 80,000 at 6.64 for your x value. In other words, 6.64 years go by, and those two lines are both equal to 80,000. In other words, the population has doubled like they wanted. All right, so where am I? Your x is 6.64. Six, four, about years. Okay. Okay. If I continue to number 20, I'm going to run out of room on my recording. So I'm going to record one more um, video, but it shouldn't be too long.